Welcome to episode six. And in this episode, we're going to cover the last of the four mitotic phases. We're going to cover anaphase and telophase. So let's get down to business. Okay, anaphase is one of the more dramatic phases of mitosis. And the best way to remember this is think of ana moves away or ana moved apart. Because what happens is the chromatids, let me get this written down. The chromatids are going to move away or apart. And it's really kind of a neat way that it does this, okay? So remember we talked about chromosome structure and those centromeres were held together. Or the centromere acted like Velcro and it pulled like this will be one chromatid, this will be the other. It's going to pull apart. And so now these chromosomes are going to move towards opposite poles. Well, it's going to do that by those kinetochores chewing their way down the spindle. So think of my pen here as a spindle. And my hand right here is the kinetochore. So what this kinetochore is going to do is it's going to begin to kind of chew its way down the spindle like Pac-Man would do. So think of like waka, 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 waka. And as it does that, that chromosome is moving this way towards the pole. So look over here at this picture. Whoops, wrong button here. All right, here we've got a chromosome, and this kinetochore is right in this area. And this red line is a spindle. So this kinetochore is going waka, 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 as it's chewing its way towards the dot. And of course, when it chews the dot, all the ghosts turn blue, all that kind of stuff from, from Pac-Man. All right, so it used to, used to be thought that these spindles were just pulling on the chromosomes and dragging them along, but what's really happening is those kinetochores are chewing their way down, all right? So, so in anaphase, the chromatids are moving apart or away, and they're moving towards the pole. So we have a lot of movement going on in this one. Okay, telophase. Telophase is the last of the mitotic phases, and it's essentially the opposite of prophase. So if you remember from prophase, chromosomes coiled up, Nuclear envelope uh, began to break apart. The spindle fibers were forming, and the centrals were moving to the, to the poles. Think of all those things happening backwards, and you have telophase. Okay? So the chromosomes are going to begin to uncoil. They're going to start stretching out into that chromatin. The nuclear envelope is going to reform, because now we're going to make a nucleus for one daughter cell and one for the other. And then our spindle, since we're done going through our, our mitosis, we're going to break that down. We're going to reuse those uh, proteins for something else. All right, so let's look over here in this picture. Okay, our cell has divided, or our, our nucleus has divided. So now we have one, two nuclei. Uh, the nuclear envelope is beginning to reform. We used to have all these spindle fibers around here. Now they're starting to break down. And then our chromosomes are going to be in the uncoil. Notice they're not in that X shape anymore. Okay, there is one thing that I do want to point out, and I want you to look right here in this area. You see how it's starting to pinch in? This means that cytokinesis is beginning. So cytokinesis almost always begins during the telophase. And remember, cytokinesis is simply the division of the cell. So this cell is beginning to split into two. So let's review. In anaphase, the chromosomes are going to separate, or the chromatids are going to separate, and they're going to move to opposite poles. And in telophase, we're going to begin to form our new nuclei, one for one daughter cell, one for another, and it's basically the opposite of prophase. Okay? I kind of went through the steps of mitosis real quick because you probably had these when you were in middle school. However, don't hesitate to watch this episode and the previous one once or twice because you need to know what happens in each of these steps. So until the next episode, we're going to catch you on the flip side.